This is Big Meat's Food and this is the final death row meal to end all final death row meals. Literally. Because somebody ordered this, that entire tradition has now been completely abolished. There's always somebody that ruins it for everybody else. So last night I was watching The Green Mile, total classic, one of the all-time greats and as usually happens when I'm watching a film, I wound up reading about it on Wikipedia and I don't know if this ever happens to you, but I ended up going down that Wikipedia rabbit hole, just kept clicking on related articles and somehow I found myself reading about the tradition of the final meal. So a lot of you probably know about this tradition already, but if you're an inmate on death row in America, then you get to choose one final meal before, you know. But in 2011, this one guy, totally forgot his name, Lawrence Russell Brewer, ordered a triple bacon cheeseburger, a cheese omelette, a pound of barbecue meat, doesn't say what meat, I went with pulled pork, half a loaf of bread, for some reason, I got a whole loaf here, but believe me, Lindsay's not really one for roses and chocolates, I'll just take half this loaf, I'll leave the rest for her, and she'll be made up. A meat lover's pizza, a pint of ice cream, some fried chicken with gravy, some peanut butter fudge, three root beers, love root beer, and some fried okra. And so, uh... Yeah, that's not really a thing here, so I got some fried fries instead. I hope that's an acceptable substitution. Anyway, he ordered this humongous meal and then refused to eat one single bite of it, which made me so mad. What a douchebag. Anyways, I figured it would be fun to order that exact same meal today, pretty much, and then see if I could eat it. So without further ado, this is Baby Mix Food, and this is the last death row meal to end all last death row meals. <gasps> Let's go! All right, the timer has started. I'll put up a calorie count on screen as soon as I figure it out, but let's tuck in to this uh, delicious looking meal. I'm gonna start with this omelette. Eesht! What's up, Beard Army? Welcome to tonight's video. Oh, I forgot a towel this week. Apparently he had peppers in his omelette, but ain't nobody got time for that. Next we will do the fried chicken. Why not? Good old KFC. Yeah, you can't beat a little original recipe chicken off the bone, right? Didn't actually say what kind of fried chicken he ordered. So I kind of got a combination of on the bone and boneless. It does say that he used gravy though, so let's crack the world famous KFC gravy open. Yeah, there are a lot of my subscribers that are almost romantically attached to her. Uh, KFC gravy, so I hope you enjoy its inclusion in this week's video. I'm almost as bad at eating chicken on the bone as I am at eating corn on the cob. Terrible at that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting better at, you know, eating corn off the cob. I don't know if you saw the uh, Pitmaster barbecue restaurant challenge I did last week, but I've got a new technique now. Ooh, precious skin. Quickly, quickly, thank you. Shaves me from my shelf. Almost missed it. Oh, these are hot wings. This brings back the horror of the 100 KFC hot wing challenge. Look at the size of these. These aren't wings. This is like a chicken tender. More than a wing. Oh yeah, that 100 KFC hot wing challenge. That was, that really was brutal. That was five. Put that over there. All right, next we will do one of these fajitas. Yeah, I don't know why I said it like that, but um, these fajitas were huge. Really more like burritos than fajitas. But uh, yeah, this week 
it's a quirky little video, something a little bit different, which I don't know if it's a good idea, but you know, I was watching the Green Mile, like I said, and it, it kind of came to me. So uh, try not to get offended by it or, you know, use the comments as some kind of political stomping ground for your thoughts on capital punishment or anything like that. It's really not about that, uh, just about taking down this humongous meal that this guy was crazy enough to, to order. And I can't believe he didn't eat any of it. <clears throat> Those first two wraps were sweet chili um, chicken. So, they're pretty good. This one is. I think this one is just salsa. This is starting to sound like a struggle already. Anyway, uh, there's plenty of talking in this video for those of you. The, the select few of you that like listen to my voice so uh, I'll let you enjoy that and I'll I'll leave the commentary for now and I'll catch you at the end I heard some really bad stories about how KFC gravy is made it's not really putting me off but I heard it's pretty much like 90% grease from the fryers at the end of the day it tastes good though Just trying to show you that the first root beer is done. I love root beer. My favourite is A&W, but this Carter stuff is actually alright. Alright, next we'll do the triple bacon cheeseburger. I think it's actually got four patties in it. It's got four. I messed up. Or did I? <laughs> Whatever. Admittedly, four patties could have been a mistake, but it does taste good. It tastes better if it was a Five Guys though. Alright. Quick time check. 18 minutes. Alright. This pizza's gonna be cold as hell. <clears throat> Why not? Huge pizza sandwich. I'm getting some wicked heartburn today. I think it's because I've been drinking fizzy drinks from the start, which I don't normally do. I'm gonna save these crusts for when I open the ice cream. Man, I can't wait for that. I'm gonna dip those in the ice cream, which is already calling me. I can't wait to get to that and the fudge. But before that, let's do this half loaf of bread. Ah. Right, half a loaf is about, I think that is almost precisely right. <coughs> Seems like a needlessly specific request, half a loaf of bread. I get the feeling he was trying to uh, wind somebody up a bit <coughs> by doing this. And I guess we will put the, some of the meat, I'm just gonna make, squeeze two slices into one slice, then we'll make some kind of pulled pork sandwich. Ugh, this is cold now. I suppose that'll do it.
Oh, I should have done this first. I don't know why I got two portions of large fries. He didn't say anything about two in his final order. Whatever. Right, if I ever do this, it's usually a really bad sign, but <coughs> I'm gonna, just because I don't like the end piece, I'm gonna put this here, just for now. I'm, I'm confident I'll get back to it, but right now I need something sweet, so. Right now I need, right now I need something sweet, so. I'm going for the burnt cherries. This will almost certainly be entirely melted by now, but it should still taste good. Yeah, it's totally melted. At first I didn't really like the birthday cake flavour too much, but this is one of my favourites now. I hope this is watchable. I really should have... Um, Remember the towel. <clears throat> I think this is okay, it's just the top layer that seems to be melted. So, we go with a few fries. My hand's going into cramp again. Sometimes when you eat stuff that's really high in salt and sugar, you get cramp. <coughs> oh, Lord. This is starting to feel like an old school video now. It's getting really hard. I should explain if, if you're new to the channel, it's not unusual for me to do stuff like this. Like, you know, dipping fries in ice cream. Make them go down a bit easier. Oh, fries so dry. I'm almost out root beer. Although, this is practically a milkshake now anyway. Can you see that behind the bread? I don't know. I'll put it on top of the bread. You have no respect for logic. I think that works. <sighs> We're getting close now. I'm hoping this continues to melt because I'm out of root beer. I need some more practice. Oh, damn it. Oh. Oh. oh, it's too hard now. <laughs> Even though this is like a mixture between the remnants of that pizza and birthday cake, it still tastes pretty good. The sweet, 
<clears throat> the sweetness is a bit of a relief. But I do feel a little bit like I'm going to throw up, <laughs> which I don't want to do. Let's have some of this fudge. It's supposed to be... It's supposed to be peanut butter fudge, but I couldn't find any peanut butter fudge, so I thought I'd just put peanut butter on the fudge. But this looks sickly. <laughs> <coughs> it's coming. Oh, the fudge is hard to swallow without gagging. It's probably a good job he didn't try and eat all this food before being executed. That would have been a real mess. Just the smell of the fudge is almost enough to make me hurl. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. Two minutes left. Ah, oh, I suppose I feel slightly better in that I almost righted an egregious wrong, you know, in that guy ordering all this food and then not eating any of it. At least I've eaten most of it. Anyway, I bet my beard is a mess. I'm sorry if that was painful to watch. I guarantee you <coughs> it was much more painful to eat. But thanks for watching, and uh, I think there's a restaurant challenge up in like four days, maybe. <coughs> Beat out.